Okay, let's discuss about families of Rho's curves. In polar coordinates, equation of the form r equals to i a sine n theta, r equals to a cosine n theta, uh, represents families of the flower shapes, shaped curves called roses. For example, for example, r equals to 2 sine 3 theta, or another example, r equals to 5 cosine 2 theta. These two examples, okay, the rows consist of n equally spaced petals of radius a if a n is odd number. For example, n is 3, 5, 7, 9. It co consists, the rows consist of 2n equally spaced petals of radius a if n is even. For example, n is 2, 4, 6, 8. A rose with the n even number of petals is traced out exactly once as the varies over the interval 0 to pi. A rose with the n odd number of petals is traced out exactly once as the theta varies over the interval theta 0 pi. So here you can see some examples. Uh, for example, sine 2 theta, uh, it con consists of 4 petals. Sine 3 theta, 3 petals. Sine 4 theta consists of 8 petals. And sine 5 theta consists of 5 petals. Sine 6 theta consists of 12 petals. The same goes to the cosine also. And as you can see here, uh, when in the case of sine, petals are symmetric, symmetric with, with respect by um, symmetric with respect to, to the angles, which is defined by the sine n theta equals to 1. In the case of cosine also, uh, it is uh, symmetric with respect to cosine and theta equals to the one equations. Okay, uh, sketching the graph of r to cosine theta, when theta from 0 to pi over 4, it will be in the, you can see in the first quadrant, in the upper part of the x-axis, and further, when theta uh, from pi over 4 to pi over 2, because cosine 2 theta will be negative and it will be uh, symmetrically go to the uh, third quadrant. When uh, theta from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2 still uh, cosine 2 theta negative, then the graph will be in the fourth quadrant. And when theta from 3 pi over 4 to the pi, R becomes positive, then going up to the second quadrant. And when theta from pi to 5 pi over 4, it is completing that uh, petal and going back to the first quadrant again. And when theta from 5 pi over 4 to 3 pi over 2, it is going up uh, to uh, vertical to the uh, y axis. 3 pi over 2 to 7 pi over 4 and completing this third uh, petal and after that going to complete the first petal when theta from 7 pi over 4 to 2 pi. Okay, uh, one of the example here I will show how I can sketch. Sketch the curve r equals to 5 sine theta. The petals are positioned uh, when the r equals to 5, we can find sine 3 theta equals to 1. Then when sine 3 theta equals to 1, we can find from general solution of this equation, 3 theta equals to pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. So n will be 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2. So divide by 3, you can get theta is pi over 6 plus 2 pi n by 3. 
The tangent lines uh, can be found from sine 3 theta equals to 0 equation. So 3 theta w pi n. So from here we can find uh, theta is pi n by 3. Okay. So we found theta pi over by 6 by 2 pi by 3 n for the position of the petals, maximum points. And here 0 we got theta pi over 6 and 1 we got pi over 6 plus 2 pi by 3 which is 5 pi by 6. And equals to 2 we got pi over 6 plus 4 pi by 3 which is 9 pi by 6, 3 pi over 2. So at these angles, we got three maximum uh, distance from the origin for petals. And we have to find tangent lines from the second equation. So theta is, theta is pi over n by 3, then n equals to 0, theta 0, n equals to 1, theta pi over 3. This is the, will be uh, tangent in the first petal and we can sketch the first petal between these two lines then after that n equals to 2 n equals to 3 we get theta 2 pi by 3 theta equals to pi these are the tangents for the second petal and third petal tangents can be found from n equals to 4 n equals to 5 where we get theta 4 pi by 3 theta 5 pi by 3 then uh, we are ready to sketch third petal between these two tangent lines. Okay. Okay.